Hey Gearfax friends, today it's not so much a review of the Roland Gaia, it's a celebration of it. So those are a few sounds I made up in just a few moments, friends. It's very easy to come up with original creations, and it's actually three synthesizers in one. So you've got your sound creator, LFOs, envelopes, right through to your multi-effect system, three times over. Like that. So that's three layers of expressiveness. It has quick access to an arpeggiator with plenty of different patterns. And this is another great feature, the built-in phrase recorder. Okay, so this one's a little tricky. You can hear there that there's a phrase already recorded. To erase that, you start recording, press bank, and then 8. Uh, note what I've done there is change the sound. Now we're deleting stuff. As long as you hold it down, it'll keep deleting notes. Oh, there's still a few there. Let's make sure we get the whole lot this time. Okay, we're clear now, and we can begin recording notes. Now in this playback you'll hear that it doesn't quantize the notes, which is a real shame for somebody with a rough playing style like me. So let's delete that and stick to things that are more solid in their timing. Now as that plays back, I'll demonstrate that it'll also record controller changes. And you can mess with your loop as much as you want. So it is a fun and useful tool. I'm really missing that quantize though. You might notice the absence of an actual alphanumeric display on these ones, like so many other Roland synthesizers and multi-effect systems. You'll get at least a two-line display explaining where you're at in the system. I have to admit, it did take a bit of getting used to just to have buttons to control this thing with. You have to learn the combinations and the key press routines in order to really get the most out of the Gaia, and that is an adjustment.
Running out of space here. By that I mean physical space. The reduced size keyboard is a little bit cozy.
so at the end of our review what do we have friends well we've got a small synth with some giant bellowing sounds you can get a whole lot of expression out of the Roland Gaia with those long evolving pad sounds but you can also get some really nasty biting leads stab sounds quick little effects I think it's a really expressive synthesizer and I love the way Roland have given us so much in such a small and very high quality package. Thanks for watching GearFacts today. Please give me your opinion about the Roland Gaia, any experiences that you might have had with it, and share this video and GearFacts generally with anybody else who might be interested, and I'll see you on the next one.